Chat's not over. Well, I guess we're gonna act like we're gonna plant unless this starts raining. So for each one of these, we gotta pop this off, open that up, take the plate out. We'll have to put a different one, the bean one on, um, adjust this and take this strip out and put a new one on. Well, congrats. So now we're old. Yep. Cool beans. My oldest brother, Robbie, and his wife just had their second baby, healthy baby girl. So now they have one of each, boy and a girl. And my middle brother, him and his wife, also have one of each, boy and a girl. So congratulations. Come on, Rain. We really need you. Being in a tin shed, it always sounds better than what it really is, but... We're getting some moisture and that gets you excited a little bit. Now the seed is up in here, you know, running along this strip. You can see this one has bumps. The one for soybeans, it's really smooth. Not exactly sure how much of an effect it has. I assume you'd be able to plant both with both strips with varying degrees of efficiency. I'm sure it'd be not terrible. They must think it was worth creating a whole new strip for it. Just a nice rain. We need about about 50 hours of that constantly and we'll be sitting pretty good. You wet dog. Look at you, dirty dog. Wanna go in the garage? Wanna go in the garage? Okay, so we moved the doubles eliminator down. We put the uh, bean strip in. Now all we gotta do is put the plate in and we are ready for beans. And these bean plates have about double the holes around the edge than the corn plates do. That's about it. Well, it's all grease, switch over to beans, and now it's raining. And honestly, if we couldn't get in the field for a week, if it kept raining, I wouldn't be butthurt about that. It don't matter how early you get your beans in, if you have zero moisture, you're not gonna raise a crop. So I'd rather have rain and late beans than super mega bigly drought. Oh man, this is beautiful. 1100s and probably a, probably a whole bird stuck in there too, a couple bees. Yeah, a little bit more than a tenth. So what you're saying is the drought's not over. Depends on where you look. If you look right here, it's not bad. Right there is where the water tank overfilled. <laughs> Some of our bean seed just pulling in.
planning on planting some beans later today. The sun, I'm sure, will come out, and that 1100s will be gone just as fast as it came. My brother, city folk, he needs a skid loader and a dump truck. He's doing some dirt work in his backyard, so that gives us a good opportunity to go into town and have some much needed lunch before we come back and start planting some beans. And also, one of our gators needs to work on, so we're gonna drop that off at the shop. Holy smoke. <laughs> By golly, it started sprinkling again. Hopefully it keeps doing it. Mess around in town then and get some lunch, drop some stuff off. Dad'll be bringing the dump truck. It's a pretty smart way to do it. Ate at the Cubbies, got the Chester's chicken. Now we'll get to my brother's house, drop that stuff off. Sun's starting to come out I'm sure we'll be planting later today little slice of the American dream right here We certainly are grateful for the little rain that came today unfortunately it's not a drought buster and we got a load of some alfalfa hay pulling in the alfalfa is greening up it's possible we get one pitiful cutting of alfalfa which is way better than nothing but you know we're being we're trying to be proactive and buying early in this case scenario we regret buying hay because it starts raining and we're able to make a bunch of it Worst case scenario is we did a good job of buying hay early because we needed it. We won't be rolling today, but we will be this week, so we're going to get that hooked up.
He's going to plant. I just got to finish up hooking that roller. If it was looking like it was gonna rain tonight and tomorrow, I'd roll it right behind him. That way it's done, doesn't get wet. But we got a few days. We'll probably be able to plant all day tomorrow as well. Like 64 foot Brant land roller ready to go. We'll go check on how that's planting. Call it a day. Almost all the wet spots are dried up. Yesterday after I did that Glen Campbell song, Rhinestone Cowboy, I realized that there's a Glen Campbell song I like even better. So that's today's song of the day and that's uh, Wichita Lineman. You ever heard that one, Cole? Uh, I am a lineman for the county and I drive the main roads. I was assuming it was lineman like a football player. No, it's not. No. Okay. mowed yesterday you saw it oh that actually looks all right more of my grass starts coming around the house and it'll be beautiful Tiffany's garden got it planted some of the plants are dying but you win some you lose some thanks for watching today folks tomorrow you know what we'll be doing planting little bean rolling little bean so please tune in next time here at Sunny Farms have a good one Godspeed, little beans. Godspeed.